It's time to react to my first ever proper way theory. Usually, way theories are edited a bit too fast paced and high octane for my brain to take in actual information from. However, I've been told that this one is set out in a much more chill manner. So I'm excited for this one. And I think Min also voices in this one too. So we're going to watch the biggest plot twist in Genshin Impact. Does this have 3.6 spoilers? I would assume so. Okay, let's have a look at this. Kaboom! Oh, bang of music, dude. Wait, what is this? When your character dies in Genshin Impact, they dissolve into this blue particle that fades away. Okay. This also applies to human enemies. Yeah. Smash. Jesus, okay. Volume. Uh, I also hate the hand guards. Like, where is this going? Does it, like, everything dissolve into blue particles when it dies? Monsters like Ruin Gods, non-human. Ah, they turned into red stuff. Interesting. Wait, that is interesting. Would that mean humans are made from like a live ley line energy and the monsters are made from the memories of the ley line energy? Because we see the red ley lines in uh, the Deluke event. Hmm. According to Yaimiko, who I love you, Yaimiko. to death in her character demo. But I thought you weren't ready to return to the cycle. Nope. She strangely <laughs> mentions the word cycle, which is also brought up in her birthday post in June 2022. Wait, what is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I gotta read this. Hold on. The main character wakes up one day only to find himself trapped in a time loop as the same day just repeats itself over and over again. He must find a way to break the cycle. Don't you find this idea quite entertaining? I have a feeling that this novel will be a great hit. But tell me, if you were to be stuck in a time loop today and had to celebrate my birthday for all eternity, would you consider breaking free? They post in June 2022. Interesting. I just finished reading this novel manuscript submitted by Yai Publishing House. The main character wakes oh. up one day only to find himself <laughs> trapped in a time loop. As the same day just repeats itself over. Oh, Ethers shitting. Flashing images. You must find a way to break the cycle. Fast forward to August with the release of Soon. Her voice is quiet. The exact same phenomenon mentioned in the novel manuscript, where a traveler is trapped in the same day, repeating over and over again. But the incident is called the Sunsara of the Subsetus Festival. Yeah, the Sunsara cycle. In Honkai Impact, there is a character called Yai Sakura who. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're getting into Honkai lore in this way? I do remember Yai Sakura. Are we, is, I'm assuming this isn't going to be spoilers. I'm pretty far into the story enough now, right? Yai Miko from Genshin. She's associated with an open world questline called Sakura Samsara. I haven't finished it, but I don't mind about the open world stuff. Samsara is a concept of death and rebirth. Also, the cyclicality of all life, matter, and existence. Oh god. The first Samsara in Honkai is a virtual simulation of history constructed using memory files from a few hundred years ago. It happened because the protagonist, Kiana Kusama, sneaked into a data center in order to figure out what happened in the past. The second Samsara is Kiana replaying history, but trying to change the outcome. The third Samsara is Kiana replaying history. Which again, is what happens in all the Samsara cycles, right? Sakura's trapped soul from the black box. The... Oh god! Wonder who else is sealed in a box. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of boxes, to be fair, but... We are in a Samsara created by Ermin Soul. Yeah, the voice is very quiet compared to the effects and stuff. You're not wrong. It's it's hard to hear sometimes, but it's fine. I can I can read the stuff that's not already voiced. On our first journey, we're learning about the world of Tevat. It appears your understanding of this world continues to grow. It does, surely. A best who has already completed that journey or the Samsara cycle is trying to change the outcome. Until the abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Mm. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. Yeah. Meanwhile, 
Traveler's goal after their journey is to save the Abyss Twin. Your journey has reached its end. We assume. But one final doorway remains. Step forth if you have understood the meaning of your journey. I still don't think this is going to be about the Abyss Twin, dude. Uh, I don't. I, st I still, to this day, think... I know there's a lot of... Like, the go-to idea is that it's going to be about the Abyss Twin, obviously. But... I just can't see them making it that obvious. I think it's gonna be the um the sustainer. Defeat me. Command me to step aside. Show me that you are worthier than I to rescue her. Cause imagine, um, you know the 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 okay, spoilers here for the latest world quest. Remember what Dainsleeve had in his hand, right? Or on his hand? I think it was in his hand though. Yeah, he had a ring. Right? So who was he... Like, if it was a marriage ring, maybe. Who was he married to? Maybe he had this little thing going on with the sustainer at some point, and then... Pew, 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 fate. Pew, 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 carry on. I don't know, dude. I'm just saying. Maybe he loves someone, and that's who... That's why he needs us to prove that we're more worthy than him to rescue the one he loves. You know? That's how I feel like it's gonna play out. But I could be when wrong. person dies in Teva, they transform into these blue particles. Then, it is absorbed into a cycle, according to Yaimiko. These blue particles are also seen when receiving artifacts from the petrified trees and domains. True. These petrified trees are directly connected to Irminsul. Irminsul is the repository for all of the information and memories of Teyvat. And the artifacts are themselves the physical manifestation of ideals and memories, hmm. which is a form of data recorded by Irminsul. Okay. Hence. Receiving artifacts equals to extracting data from Irminsul. Yes. Leyline Network, on the other hand, acts and functions like Irminsul's roots, absorbing information on everything that happened all over Teyvat in the form of data. When people die in Teyvat, they become nutrients, which sinks down into the soil and is absorbed by the roots of Irminsul. Ah! These nutrients are transferred up the tree and used to produce food. I'm tree food? These fruits are stars in the sky. The stars, the sky, it's all a gigantic hoax. Huh. A lie. According to Mona, astrologers believe that the patterns of the stars map out the destiny of vision bearers. Past, present, and future. Oh. Is this saying that every Samsara cycle or every journey through Tavat makes another star in the sky after like a death? And that's like constellations? Everything is written in the stars. The only way for this to be possible is that the entire Tevat is within a Samsara simulation. Interesting. By the Irminsul. Yeah. The Chinese name for Irminsul is world tree the adanada refers to irminsul as sarva sarva whole entire all and every both of these suggest that irminsul itself is the world if we look at a typical image of the world tree ha huh, i mean yeah it, it does encompass the entire the world right the world is within the bubble within the tree Referring back to before Sun and Moon, it mentions that the Primordial One used the eggshell to separate the universe and the microcosm of the world. I remember this. There is an eggshell separating Teyvat from the real sky, meaning Teyvat lies within the Irminsul bubble. The first time someone dies, all their data gets absorbed by the Irminsul, which forms a star that has information on everything Damn. that has happened in their lifetime. At a certain point, Teyvat would eventually reach its inevitable destruction. <laughs> no! The world would collapse. All data of the world would be absorbed by Irminsul and recycled to recreate the next world. As samsara means cyclicality of all life, matter, and existence, including the world itself. Yeah, I'm gonna just ignore result, that edit. That would progress into the next samsara cycle. In this new cycle, people would eventually I don't like the taste in, of that. <laughs> another star in the sky in addition to the previous star. After many samsara cycles, there will be multiple stars in the sky that belong to one person. So, Tava is currently in its eighth or seventh samsara cycle? Interesting.
Yeah, of course it would be seven. Yeah, that is interesting if that's true, dude. Tavat is currently in its seven Samsara cycle with seven Archons and seven <laughs> everything. Hmm. These stars are their constellations, which turns out to be fruits grown on Airmensal branches. Hmm. This is why reading people's constellations can predict their fate. As constellations contain a record of the entire life from past Samsara cycles. Why does Traveler have constellations then? Because we could easily still be on a seventh cycle as well. In Traveler's character card, it has this word, which means fake. Because Traveler don't have a constellation. This is his first cycle. They are not absorbed by Ermin yet. You are not from this world. I am unable to give you a prediction. Yeah, we got knockoff Gucci, dude. Your journey is far from over. While a best twin who have completed their journey, Samsara cycle, has her data absorbed by the Ermin Soul. However, oh my God! Wait, that actually makes. Oh my God! Wait, that actually makes so much sense, dude. Holy shit, I never thought about it like that. That actually does work so well. Because Lumina's already... Oh, I'm going to say Lumina, but I mean the opposite twin. Because Lumina's already completed a journey and found out what the true world really is, that would mean that she has a constellation in the sky, completing the Samsara cycle once, so Ominsul has absorbed her once and has records on her. Jesus. Wow. There must be something different about your sister. Because, as it turns out... The world has recorded information on her after all. Nani? Nani? But what is the point of a samsara cycle? To learn things? Create a... database? A hive mind! Oh! Built by a scholar named Saraj. With the goal of driving humans towards their ultimate evolution. The interesting thing is... The Hive Network is built with people that have strong Nyana energy. Tell me, did Siraj tell you how he assigned numbers? He picked them out of a hat by sticking sticky notes to his feet. Yeah, remember how the sages took advantage of the Akasha and extracted Nyana energy from our heads back then? They left a document that records the amount of Nyana energy mm. that the Akasha had extracted. The Nyana energy. Person. I don't know how Siraj got his hands on that document, but he used it as the basis for his numbering system. Hmm. I see. Do you? He believes that this data can be used to evaluate a person's computing power. Mm-hmm. What if Tevat itself is a giant perfected hive? Instead of using people with strong Nyana energy, it leeches off people with strong ambitions. By granting them a vision. When a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. A person's vision represents their ambition. People gain constellations as they go through Samsara cycles. As they gain constellations, they become more powerful. Achieving human evolution in a sense. I mean, Dea, but I, like, I get it, but. Well, maybe she's like the sloth, you know, that because did you know, actually, this is a, an actual fact, like a two toed sloth travels like seven miles per hour faster than a dead sloth. Did you actually know most sloths die because they reach out to a tree branch and from the minute that they reach out to the tree branch, they forget that they reached out to a tree branch and they mistake their arm for another tree branch. So they go to grab that arm thinking it's a tree branch and they just fall to their death. Like, I'm not kidding. That's a genuine thing. It's so sad. It's kind of fucked up. The, the, the stupid, but in a cute way. Uh, the Primordial wanted a secret, pl sacred plan for humans. Subscribe to gain 4 billion IQ. Is that your plan? Well, I should do that actually, because I'm a little bit stupid, but oh, I'm already subbed. Of course I am. I've been subbed for a while. Okay. Hey, that way through is pretty good. I will say the um, audio was 
a bit off for me. Like, the voice seemed a bit lower than the rest, and sometimes things were louder than others. But I think that's just way style, dude. Who am I to tell someone how to edit their video, you know? But uh, I liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. It was interesting and fun. Yeah, much better editing in my opinion, too.